Is that the other... Yeah, it is! I'm assuming it's the Predator that ran away! He's got those weird things on his head. Fight for your honor. First. Nothing. Cool. Wait, why have I got a combi stick equipped? Ah, oh, because I... Upgraded it. Clap! He's strong, but why is he just punching me? Um... Let's just... Be a... Uh, that can do this. Until I run out. One more left. I have to watch my health, it's a little low. Maybe one more hit. Ah, lame. I kind of thought I had to be in a uh, direct reach for that. Let's just try our luck at doing this. Where we run at him, swipe and run away. Let's try to glaive. Maybe, maybe now's the time to work out which ones do damage. Seems about the same. Now, is there any energy sources in here? So I can just be cheap and, you know, we Just be a cheap ass and, and shoot them to death? Kind of already fought them once, so I don't really feel bad. Yeah, it's weird. Some areas you don't start with maxed health, and others you do. When I say maxed health, I mean maxed out healing charges. Keep doing that slam thing. No. Come on, you're nearly dead. No, you are dead, even though you still got some health. And I'll take this! Thank you! Hopefully that's the head I wanted for my trophy case. I have to carry this thing all the way home! I kind of assumed that was the end of the chapter. I hope I'm not going to keep going again. And now here you are. I just don't want to have to refight him every time. My story's almost done. Don't you have a kiss for your grandmama? Isabella oh. Borgia? <laughs> this is fucking impossible. You can't still be alive after a hundred years. Did you come to shut me down? Take control? Sell us out, Lucretia? I know you plan to usurp Hunter. I've been watching you, you know. How like me you are, Lucretia. A schemer. An empire builder. I am nothing like you, and I never will be. You're not even human anymore. Look at you! You're a monster! It's disgusting. I'm much more than human. I am the living brain and nervous system of Neonopolis. I hardly remember where I end and Neonopolis begins anymore. Even the heat of summer is my doing. It was important to make our city a more welcoming environment for okay. our guest. I don't think you can control you brought this the thing. sun. It was you! You and my father! These creatures have superior genetic material that we can use to clone and make armies. To spawn a thousand children like Hunter. Genetically adapted to conquer this world and others in Mother's name. You're insane. If I shut you down, it'll leave us alone. 
Bruno used to say to me, it's all just jungle, baby. Behind the fancy hotels, the churches, and the diamond parlors, it's all just predators and prey. And he was right. The monster is working its way up the food chain. You take over if you like, Lucretia. It'll only hunt you down and kill you. Like it killed Bruno, the god of gangsters. No! I won't let it! <laughs> Bruno? You think that makes you the boss now? <laughs> you think that makes you the yes, boss Yes, I remember now? that. Are you gonna kill a woman and her baby to prove it? Look at my face! Hunter was a sickly child. That's a, oh, it's gonna I say, that baby looks dead. He could never have survived but for the blood. <laughs> Why did it let that happen? Alright, so this is how shit turned bad. The blood of the predator. That keeps us strong and allows us to live unnaturally long lives. That was the first of the gifts it gave us. Okay. And in its desperate attempts to escape from our world, it left behind the others. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about predator blood giving you sort of powers. Longevity and life and all that. Ah, uh, okay. It is kind of cool that it did show how ship kind of went down. I mean, the beginning makes it seem like a real case of he just got sloppy and careless, but... Well, I mean in that he just started murdering people left, right and centre. But, it's more because for some stupid reason he took his mask off and then just watched her shoot him in the fucking head. Which is impressive he survived that. Um, so yeah, anyway, Mother, the narrator, is that chick from the 30, the 1930s, who's also in a tube, I don't know if I really like that. I feel the narrator should kind of be detached, but I guess it makes sense why there's a human narrating the events. I did say right at the beginning how I thought that was a bit strange. But either way, okay, last right, we, let's check out the trophy case see if that skull's there now. It is. Good, good. I didn't miss it. Look how huge it is. Stoneheart. Yes. Only one left. Hopefully I have missed it. And still three of these to go, which we're close to the end of the game. But these aren't all for killing people necessarily, are they? Yeah, that's for the Black Ops. So it's just for taking out those... Yes. Cyborgs. So they're not called androids, they're cyborgs. I think an android is something synthetic that's meant to look human. A robot's just a, uh, you know, machine. And a cyborg. It's kind of a mix of both, I think. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm babbling. Yeah, that was another short, sweet little chapter. Just a nice boss fight. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.